Back left pin, ba ba ba. Here we go, go back here. I make my eight iron 160, 140. You know, it's all about feel, right? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna come back in the corner here. This is my eight iron here. We got 165 yards. Uh, the pin is blue and back, a little left of the middle of the green over the bunker, right? So my goal, again, is like that last little draw I hit over there, I'm gonna do the same thing, which means that I'm gonna aim a little right with my body, have the face a little bit left of my aim, and just make my normal swing, okay? Just like that. You can see it's drawing over the bunker a little bit. That's perfect, middle of the green. Can't really flirt with the left side too bad. It's another birdie putt. The way I'm rolling the rock today, I'm probably gonna go in. This game's all about luck, really. Luck and chance. It's like life. Opportunities. And you gotta give yourself opportunities on the golf course. Play smart, play aggressive when you can. Play smart when you can't be aggressive. All right, I'm walking up. I'm kind of scouting the green as I come up. You can see the scallops of the edges. They give you a little detail about where the pin might be, what the green might do. So I walk onto the green and I can see the bunker here and a little slope coming off the bunker this way. It's a little double break, no big deal. I'm gonna fix my divot right after I make this. Well, I'm gonna clean my ball. I gotta play fast. That should go in. Ah, okay. Didn't go in, but what do I got? Less than a foot? You gonna give me this? <laughs> Not even close. We're still playing pin in. <laughs> well, you're not you're not supposed to pick the ball out of the cup, so I missed it. Just rimmed it. All right, so that was embarrassing right there. But you know what? I'm over it already. I'm even par. All right. Well, that was fun playing through. Hit a good shot in there. The first putt was pretty, pretty killer. The last putt, I don't even. I don't think I told you. I had my eyes closed. It's a little drill I'm doing. I'm trying to work on those. Okay, now this hole here is like a no big deal hole, right? But the problem with it is that it all narrows down on the right side. So there's the bunker. And when you're in front of that bunker, you're only about 150 max to the pin. But everybody tries to fit it in to the corner and they end up blocked by a couple trees and there's a creek that runs all the way by it. I don't do that. When I'm playing for cash, I'll just take this five iron out. Don't even need a tee. And I'm just gonna take this five, hit a little draw, and run it to the front of that bunker, right in the beginning there. So that's how you do that. You see the ball working right in front of that bunker there. That's perfect. So that's the little QL I use there on that one. That's an inside joke because the QL muscle is somewhere back here. And it was a big thing once upon a time with the biomechanists of the world. Well, now we're really talking. That was a little bit about course management right there, right? Everybody's going for it. They hit it in the bunker. They can't even get out of a greenside bunker, let alone a fairway bunker, right? So why would you even think about putting yourself in that predicament? So hit a club that doesn't reach the bunker and it doesn't go too far and get you blocked by the trees. So course management is kind of like when I do playing lessons, that's all I'm doing. I'm making sure that these guys keep themselves on offense, right? You always want to be like on offense, moving forward towards the hole. You hit it over to the right, you're on defense. You hit it in the bunker, you're on defense. Oh, yeah. So you see the pin is front right. And uh, my, my ball must have hit, it must have hit a sprinkler head because it's in the rough over here. All right. But that's no big deal because I'm only, like I said, 144, pins in front, 134, out of the rough. I'm going to hit a pitching wedge. Okay. Now, the reason I'm going to hit a pitching wedge is because well, that's what I'm saying. This is sitting up in the rough, and all I'm going to try to do is swing it away where I knock the dew off the grass. I'm not going to go down after it, okay, because the ball won't go anywhere. So you got to be careful here. Most people swing too low, 
and take too much grass. So when I get to it, I'm gonna hover my club like a, a fairway bunker in which the front or the leading edge of the club will just kind of hang down middle of the golf ball. And you're gonna hear more of a click and a light sweep of the grass. There you go. Now I kind of hear that sound where it's very, very soft, a light sound, right? That ball carried the creek, put it on the green, so. I don't even have to replace any divot because I didn't take one. I just swept it off here like knock on dew off the grass. There it is. Almost rolled off the, the back edge, but you know, when you got your distance control down, it all just kind of works out. Oh man, this is green light special, as Johnny Miller would say. Just gonna sweep it in a little bit from right to left, not much. Don't know if I'm gonna give the outside of the cup away. So, yeah. Oh, kind of wiggled, almost went in. Yeah, just do that. Short putts, you want to take it straight back, straight through with a straight face. Okay? Really, you don't want to have rotation of the club face on these little guys. You get longer putts, a little bit of a swing is okay, a little bit of wrist. These little dudes here, you want to keep the club face square, maybe lean the shaft forward before you take it back, and boom. You know, you just get a little bit of, of hit on the ball. But you really want to keep that face just working straight back, straight through, not letting it swing open and closed. That's super important for, like, you know, two-footers, one-footers, half-footers. Make a lot of them that way if you just control what you're doing with this thing. You do another one from this angle. See if you can watch this club face here. Right? So I leaned it forward, took it back. You can see when I do that, the white line just stays at the camera there. Then I hit. So it's probably like two thirds back and just a little forward, these little ones. I don't want to go too far with that push stroke. Yeah. Okay, so that was it. Let's go to the next hole. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, this is number 18, right? 426 yards, pretty decent hole, you know? Uh, come on back here, you can see this tree blocks a little bit of the hole, right? The creek runs all the way down the right side, so the game would be to kind of fade it off the bunker and big eucalyptus tree. That's the goal. How am I going to fade it? Well, for one, I'm just going to think fade, right? My body will figure it out. Nice little fade. Thank you. All right. So we're finishing up our, our, our course day. We got to play like three or four holes, which is nice, right? The rest of the day is going to be helping others play really good golf, working on their games, full swing, wedges, maybe some putting, giving them some insider tips. When you guys go to the putting, and if you go, you know, to the putting green, you want to play games. If you got a buddy, man, definitely play games with your buddy, challenge each other, because that's a different focus than just hitting like, uh, like drills, like when you do short three-foot putts and you do like three balls in a row and you do all these drills. That's one thing, but getting a game with somebody it takes a whole another spice to it. All right, 170. I'm gonna hit the saucy six. You know, the blue paint. I like it. Pins on the right side. Kind of sets up perfect for me to hit a little fade in there. Here we got. Come on, baby. Get over that bunker. Okay. I think I cleared it. I'm not really sure. But you know what? I want to hit a bunker shot, so I hope we did get in. Okay, so... I did the ultimate no-no, right? I was aggressive at the right pin with the bunker right next to the pin, and I hit it short side in the bunker. The good part is I called the fade, hit the fade, hit it really, really solid with the right uh, distance. So I'm pretty sure I'm close to pin high here. 
But I do have a downslope, which is not the ideal situation. So I definitely want to keep my, uh, my divot shallow here, guys. I want to get in there and get some friction, some spin, right? Get some sauce on this thing. Now come on in. So when I do that, I gotta feel like I can surf this club in there like a wave, coming down the wave in a nice flat part and slide this right under. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna extend my arms a little bit further away from me than normal with my wrist just straight. So I'm not gonna be in here and going up like this. I'm gonna be kind of extended and swinging this club like it looks like it's going around the angle of my thighs. So the femur bones right here, and I'll just feel like it's going like this. I should slide it right under there. Okay. Nice and low, shallow divot. Got a little more reach than I am comfortable with, so I can really, here we go. So I really took a nice little splash out of there. It didn't kind of go the way I wanted to. Knock the, knock the sand off your feet when you get out of the bunkers, guys. You don't want to drag this. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on that journey out there. It was a journey. I hit some great shots, made some great putts, had some fun. So, hope you enjoy the tips out there. It's a pleasure making it for you. Click on that link below, okay? And there's three free videos for you, okay? They're going to help you with your game. Check them out. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, send them out to me. I'll get right back to you. Can't wait to make another one of these, and I promise I'm going to shoot under par, okay? Later.